Hi, this is an update on the Cat Touch. We're going to have a look at the uh, parametric microphone equaliser. So if we just hit the mic button on the screen here, we are presented with the parametric microphone screen. On the screen, we can see a pictorial view of the gain or loss settings for each of the three frequencies that's supported by the transceiver. We can also see the current settings for TX bandpass filter. Now this, we can have a look for each mode that the transceiver supports. We can see its changes for AM, so it's SSB, AM. Um, there is no bandpass filter setting for FM, CW or RITI, but there is for PSK. Okay, so we'll go back to SSB. Now we can see that the mic equalizer is on by this green indicator on the screen here. So if we go to the transceiver and we turn that off, we can see that the mic equalizer has changed. It's gone off. Now settings uh, from the transceiver are displayed pretty much instantaneously for these areas of cat touch and also on the meter screen. Everything updates pretty much instantaneously from the transceiver. But with parametric equalizer it's pretty much a set and forget once you get it right sort of thing. So we're only updating that once every five seconds from the transceiver. However when we make a change here that is instantly updated on the transceiver. So let's just go and have a look here at the uh, what we're actually changing. So on the transceiver, if we go to operation settings, and we can see here we're looking at the TX audio, and we can see these are the parametric equalizers. We can see frequency level and bandwidth. Um, now if we push the this button here and go into here, we can see if we scroll down, we have also got what they call the P parametric equalizer settings. So what these are is the settings when the equalizer is off, MEQ is off, is P parametric. That's all your P parametrics. So we can change this here. So we can have a look and see where, where the pictorial thing comes in. So we can see here, equalizer 1, the frequency is set to 600 hertz, the equalizer level is minus 1, and the bandwidth is 6. So if we have a look down here in cap touch, we can see the same information, but shown in a graphical format for you to make it nice and easy. Now, if we touch the screen, we can instantly change those settings. So it's now 500 hertz. To, but we can't change the bandwidth. The only way to change bandwidth is actually on the transceiver. So how do we go about changing it? It's sort of like a 3D thing going on here. If we touch to the right of a line, we will move the frequency up. If we move up and down this axis, the we will move either the gain, we'll, we'll move the curve up to show gain, or move the curve down to show loss. And of course the uh, indicators jump out of our way so that we can actually see what it is. Now we can't go any further than minus 10 dB. This is a limitation via the Yaesu CAT system. You can't set loss at any more than 10. If you need a 15 dB loss, you need to actually go into the... Um, setting on the transceiver here and you need to do it there. You can see that that will go all the way down to minus 20 and that's shown here. So if I zoom out, get it back into focus, we can get a bit of an idea how quickly things update. As I said, it's five seconds about. And we can see as we change things. We can also change, of course, the frequency, but we can't go any further than what the maximum is. In this particular one, the maximum frequency, or for, for equalizer one, the maximum frequency is 700 hertz, and I think it goes down to 100 hertz from memory, or off. And when it's off, 
the uh, cap touch screen shows off so that you know that that equalizer is off okay we we'll pop it back on we can see that we're at 100 and we slowly move up so each of these frequencies has got a setting a, a, a set width that it will go and of course this line here represents frequency the y-axis all right um, and we'll just go back and show you um, we'll just go back here and show you how easy it is to see what your settings are so if I just touch the micro microphone equalizer on now we can see the screen we can see straight away that's what we've set our microphone equalizer to if we come back here and go microphone equalizer off we can see that's now what we've the mic active microphone equalizer is all right that's all for now thanks very much for watching my video cheers